These results are very much in line with the changes we announced to our full year guidance in June. Sales held up pretty well, flat in consumer care and up in life sciences on an underlying basis. The significant volume decline that we've seen because of customer destocking inevitably impacted profits. And it is testament to the strength of our business and the commitment of our people that we've continued to make good progress. And I would like to thank everyone at Croda for their hard work in such a challenging environment. Consumer care delivered a sequential improvement in volumes and sales increased in life sciences when stripping out the exceptional impact of COVID-19 lipid sales last year. Industrial specialties saw a significant deterioration in sales, highlighting the cyclical nature of these businesses and our rationale to exit this space last year. And as you've seen from us before in tough conditions, we've taken some immediate actions to address costs and protect profitability. We've also continued to increase investment to strengthen Croda for the future too. We're increasing our R&D investments, expanding our manufacturing footprint and continuing to execute on technology acquisitions, the most recent of which was Solus Biotech, a very exciting opportunity for Croda. In consumer care, sales were flat overall with lower volumes offset by strong price mix, but negatively impacting margins. Encouraging volumes started to improve earlier this year as destocking works its way through the supply chain and there's continued customer demand for innovation. Sales were slightly up in actives with positive mix, whilst volume recovery was strongest in beauty care, driven by customer demand for sustainability. Our F&F business is doing exactly what we thought it would, growing sales by 20%, reflecting its high exposure to emerging markets and the progress we're seeing with Croda Enable growth. In life sciences, pharma sales were up 8%, excluding the impact of $60 million of lipid sales to our principal vaccine customers last year. We also saw growth in seed and crop protection, although crop was hit by earlier than expected destocking in the second quarter. Our nucleic acid delivery pipeline continues to develop well, with Croda supporting more than half of the nucleic acid drugs in clinical trials that specify a lipid delivery system, and operational scale-up is going well too. This points to a strong medium-term growth trajectory for the business. The current environment hasn't changed our strategy. There's no knee-jerk reactions at Croda. Continuing to invest in the business remains a fundamental priority to support our growth trajectory in both the short and medium term. And our acquisition of Solus is transformational because it brings both ceramides to our consumer care business and phospholipids to our pharma portfolio. It will help to significantly strengthen our capability at the premium end of the market and also in Asia. And Asia is a big opportunity for Croda, probably the biggest, which is why we're continuing to invest in the region to drive fast growth. We opened up new R&D facilities in Shanghai and Hyderabad during the half, and we've also continued to scale biotechnology. The fastest growth will come from sustainable ingredients, such as biotech-derived actives, so we're increasing our capacity accordingly there too. Through our Doing the Basics Brilliant program, we're leveraging digital to make engaging with customers faster and easier. We're also finding ways to enhance productivity across our business to make us more efficient too. It's in challenging conditions that the depth and diversity of Croda's business really comes to the fore. Despite the current headwinds, we've continued to make good strategic progress during the half and that momentum will continue. We're leveraging our strong balance sheet, investing in both sectors where we see significant opportunities for future growth both in the short term and beyond. We're encouraged by the sequential improvement in consumer care as customer inventory levels steadily fall. And we continue to make very exciting progress in life sciences, in pharma especially. And whilst visibility remains limited, Croda is well positioned to respond quickly when the environment normalizes, which it will. In the meantime, we keep doing the right things and that includes a focus on cost and efficiency Everything that I see in the business today underpins my confidence in Croton's strategy. The future outlook for our business looks very exciting indeed.